Yep. Okay. Everything is looking good. Looking good. Let's see. Let's see. I am live now. Yep. Alright. Uh, I'll give it a few minutes. That's because I have people join me. So let's see. Uh, what can I do in the meantime? Let's look at my phone. Ooh. Paid off. Oh, I hear a chase. That's me. Oh, shit. Yeah. Could you um turn your volume up a little bit? Uh, yeah, just give me a sec. Yeah. Where are my fucking neck levels? It also could be that I'm just talking very quietly right now. I'm still partially oh, okay. asleep. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna try to move forward a bit, a little closer to the mic. There we go. Yeah, I have the game audio playing in my um, headphones as well, so for some reason uh, it just overpowers everything else. I just gotta. Just do the, the PlayStation. <laughs> the PlayStation X games are just kind of weirdly loud a lot of the time. Yeah, I'm not even in the game yet. <laughs> I'm actually just <laughs> on the the music player in the X collection. I see they got into the sound mixing issues. Yeah. Yeah, eh, I'll give it like another minute or so. I know people are talking about wanting to join eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. It's not like there's a time limit on it either. No, there's not. I can literally take all day if I wanted to. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. And... 24 hour X4 stream when? <laughs> How do you make that work? You just play through X4 a bunch of times. Hmm. <laughs> Various runs, uh, buster only, no buster once you get weapons, uh, X0. That's Z. at least four playthroughs right there. Okay. Uh, no heart container run, then. No armor. <laughs> no armor. Weird, uh, weird boss order. My order is weird in general, so that's no problem actually. I don't even know if I go back I just to the door. I just mean like unusual for like for your normal run. Oh, for my personal run? Yeah. Um, well, f actually for X4, I don't think I've done the same run twice, <laughs> to be honest. Well, actually, I, I, back. I always start with Split Mushroom and I pretty much free ball it from there. Yeah, I see. I can never start with Split Mushroom. His copies, I know exactly where, like the directions they're gonna go, but they always trip me up and I take too much yeah. damage. Well, that's understandable. I, I usually think. either start. <laughs> I usually either start with Web Spider or Frost Walrus. Yeah, they're good. If anything, I think Split Mushroom is probably the worst choice. Your first one. Magma Dragoon. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the movie you get is so good for Zero. So good. Oh yeah. I think Magma Dragoon and Split Mushroom zero wise give you the best uh, moves because Split Mushroom you get the double jump and Magma Dragoon you get the uh, the fire up slash thing. Yes, the um, random Japanese string of letters mm -hmm. and bounce. otherwise known as every other zero attack. Oh my god, Rapuga, Rakuhoha. Uh, <laughs> what else we got? It's, uh, Shapuya. I don't remember Mickey most Kakazatsuki of his attacks. I don't fucking know. The, um... Trying to fight Jet Stingray with his weakness as Zero always gives me trouble. Yeah. Because uh, you have to position yourself just right, otherwise you're gonna get hit. You're gonna that's run true. Right into him. Yeah, that's true. But, um, something I actually just learned too recently, the hitbox of that special actually extends to the sides as well. Yeah. You can... Go just barely to the side of him and still hit him, but it's a little finicky to get the uh, to get the position right. Yeah, well, hopefully I'll get it right this time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm rusty. I just did a second playthrough of X4 the other day, just, just kind of for the hell of it. Yeah, I already I liked it a lot runs. more on a second run. Oh uh, yeah, that's me with literally every Mega Man game. <laughs> I like it more on the second run than the first run. Most of them I like on my on my first runs. 
I liked X5 a decent amount of my first run until I got to zero stage one. Uh, uh, did you try I, to get the I, lasers before you realized you could use the time stop? Yeah, I know. You want to know what reminded me that I could use Dark Hold on those? What's that? You know the Hunter Medal, the, the trophy that you can get for beating that section without using Dark Hold? I didn't know there was a medal. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, I got that metal and then I realized oh I could have just used dark hold yeah I don't know if I'll ever get that metal but oh well it's a little like it's a little easier than it may at first seem because you have a couple moments of respite but you do have to like memorize exactly where those lasers are and yeah. dash jump in just the right areas yeah. and hope that you don't press the jump button too early and activate the hover if you're using the fourth armor all right Yep. But uh, I went ahead and started the game. Uh, funnily enough, they actually edited the intro for X4. Did they? Uh, yeah, the uh, general, he no longer does that uh, Hail Hitler <laughs> uh, gesture. I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah, it took me... Because I actually played through this game twice when the x first came out, and I was like, this seems shorter for some reason. But yeah, they took that gesture out. Yeah, I never noticed. Yeah. Probably because I've seen this intro maybe all three times. Mm hmm. And maybe it's just me, but there are a few things that are just slightly off with this version. But I also want to say this might be based off the Saturn version because I've never seen her play that. I know there's like minor differences, but again, I never played that version. I don't know for sure. I know that there was some issues with like particularly emulating this version mm. uh, but nothing that i know that's hugely different yeah there's nothing for, like, huge not issues right all right so according to the poll i never hosted for this game we're gonna play a zero all right <laughs> the results are in nobody voted because the poll didn't happen zero <laughs> one in a landslide mm. <laughs> i guess i'll leave the cutscenes in this time I'm so used to just skipping them, but I don't know. Get to hear this grade A voice acting. I was ready for the, the Sigma cutscene, and then I forgot that Zero doesn't get the Sigma cutscene. Oh, you're right. Incidentally, uh, this Sigma voice in this game, probably the weakest out of all of them. I would have to agree. X, like, X7. Probably has the best Sigma voice, considering how bad everybody else's voice is in that game. Yeah, I agree, because in X8, he sounds like he's trying too hard. Yeah. He just, he, he tries to, uh, how do I describe it? He, oh, this voice. Uh, in X8, he sounds like he's trying to sound like Batman, <laughs> and not like yeah. a good Batman, he's trying to sound like college humor Batman. <laughs> it's yeah. It's really bad. Huh, more on that when we get there. Oh, I was trying to give my well, uh, my trademark on the whole, voice the acting. acting in X8 is significantly better. <laughs> oh yeah, try to get my signature voice acting for the sex boxes. Ah, go! <laughs> I I was at in translation at the end. Okay. Oh wait, <laughs> I gotta change my button configuration. Yeah, I've always found that in every X game, I always think the default configurations are real weird. Yes. And not Sorry. gonna lie, that was my. That just hurt me the first time I played making. <laughs> but then I learned, oh, you can change the buttons. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Actually, the first thing, the first thing I do every game, uh, no matter what it is, I go into the options. Yeah. So when I when I played Mega Man X, I was like, that seems like it's gonna be real finicky. Yes. Okay. For, time to do a button first check. First thing I do in every uh, first thing I do in every single one is put a dash on the L button. Yep, <laughs> that's actually where I put it as well. The only thing, I'm looking at your uh, button layouts, the only thing different I do is that I put uh, my buster on B and my dash on, or my jump on A. Oh, so that yes. way I can, that way I can charge and then just move my thumb over to jump. Ah, uh, gotcha. See, you pull that Kingdom Hearts button configuration, I see you. <laughs>
Salinger Sage, there's literally nothing I can say about it except to see intro. This has one of my favorite uh, gigantic but ultimately totally worthless mechanoids. Yeah. Is it like it's this giant dragon in the background and you're like, oh that's gonna be like some epic fight and then you just it just kinda sits there most of the time. Yeah, just staring at you. Menacing me Shit's blowing up. <laughs> that's Damn, all you need to know. Exploding. Ah everyone died. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Rip the end. Basically. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. So something I never would have thought to do, but and maybe it's just because I don't use zero specials too often in general. I'm going to do it this run just for the sake of showing them off, but his uh, specials can actually be, be used with a uh, different button. Hmm. So like his um, upward fire move, that can be mapped to a completely different button. Oh, I didn't know that. Neither did I. I'm, I'm trying to think. Can you do that in X5? I don't know. I would say probably not, but I didn't know you could do it in X4, so... <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't remember being able to do that on the original places for the... Ah, 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 Iris. Ah, 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 she's still... Not only, is that the, not only is that the sound of her text boxes, that's the sound of her regular dialogue. Yeah, basically. But, yeah. That's gonna throw me off a little bit. I'm still not used to having those specials on separate buttons but yeah with, because of that you can just use the dash trick infinitely in this game unlike in x5 i've never had him get up and close to me that way actually <laughs> i tried to dash because i had no idea what to do i've like uh i've never experienced this i need an adult Ah, damn those last tax box. <laughs> Would like to point ah, out that uh, Twitch says you're still playing Overcooked too. Oh, for fuck's sake! I know for a fact I changed that. It's it's uh, uh, the best thing. Oh my god! Also, do you have the smoothing on? What? Do you have the smoothing on? Ah, uh, maybe. Because it looks like it. <laughs> Let's it's got try. that wonderful. It's got that wonderful smear that every <laughs> smoothing see. effect ever has. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, I do. This is a mistake that needs to be corrected. <laughs> nah. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Um. Oh. Scale to fit. Mm, it's gonna look jank either way. <laughs> so fuck it. <laughs> I'd, me personally, I'd rather have the very uh, pixely PS1 look over just kind of smeared smooth visuals. But don't you like smearing markers? <laughs> I can't particularly say that I do. Oh. Man. I love the uh, I love the voice they picked for the general because he's this gigantic dude, but he's just got this very tiny kind of voice. Yes, it's great. I could have sworn uh, when I heard him that it was the same voice they used for Doctor Light in Mega Man Eight because a lot of the cast from Eight is reused in this game. Yes, including but X. not Doctor Light. <laughs> yeah, X is just oh god. Uh, it's, it's at least a better voice than Mega Man's in 8. It's not quite as high. Uh, I suppose. But it's still super high. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, they made it. This is uh, version uh, 1.16 of Mega Man X4. He can now cook a Sigma. Also, I love how they don't even them. they don't even try to hide the fact that Sigma's behind everything this time. <laughs> they haven't done that for a long time. Uh, 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 X5 does the whole 
X5 uh -huh. does the whole Peacock. mysterious voice. Uh -huh. X5 does the whole mysterious voice at the very beginning of the game, but they don't really try to hide his face in his little text profile. Well, well X5 is different in that he's the first boss, <laughs> also. Well, yeah, but he's also the last one. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's always the last boss. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So we have Web Spider, Cyber Peacock, Storm Owl, Not Street Fighter. Frost Walrus, <laughs> Slash Beast, I think, Split Mushroom, Frost, beast, yeah. and fuck, what's the, <laughs> I just forget the word. Chasing Ray. Chasing Ray. I love their, uh, I love their Japanese names, because a lot of them are either basically the same, or the most ridiculous thing possible. Nice. But yes, we're uh, going to start with Split Mushroom, which is probably the worst one for your first choice. Hey, hey. <laughs> Web Spider in Japan is Web Spidus. Web Cyber spiders. Peacock is Web Spidus. Uh, Cyber Peacock is Cyber Kujaker. <laughs> that sounds yeah. so suggestive. <laughs> um, now I'm trying to remember the, the just the order. Uh, I uh, think after that, Storm Owl. Yeah, Storm Owl is Storm Fukurel in Japan. Oh. Uh, Magma Dragoon is Magmard Dragoon for some reason. Magmard? Magmard. Uh, Frost Walrus is Frost. I can't remember the word, but it's, I believe, it's essentially just Japanese for Walrus. Mm. Now I have to double check because it's going to bug the hell out of me. Frost Pokemon. Oh, I don't like that at all. Shit. Yeah, Cuba Todos. I was in fact wrong, and that is not uh, that is not Japanese for walrus. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? Uh that's a really good question. <laughs> okay, I know that Kiba means I know that Kiba means fang or tusk. Toto is apparently a name for a type of sea lion. Mm-hmm. And the S is just there. Oh, it just has a random mass S. <laughs> I mean, Magmard. Duh, okay. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Okay. I would try to do the dash cancel trick, but I suck at it. Not gonna lie. More so in X4 than X5. <laughs> I am really bad at doing it, so I'm not. Even, I'm probably not even gonna bother. This um, this mini boss is also another like minor. Roadblock, I guess. Uh, I personally think for zero going split mushroom first because it's way easier to take it out with the uh, with the weapon you get from Web Spider. Yeah. Uh, yes. Matt, fact, I recommend jumping and then slashing. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> okay. See, uh, I might have to. Slide. I just if I just found a, a, a new image of the boss screen so I can better remember the bosses in general. Yeah, I'm uh, going to abuse its ability frames for this one. Yep. And that's always good to do. Yep. Uh, slash Beast is Slash Beast Leo. Slash Beast Leo, I love it. Split Mushroom is the same. <laughs> and Jet Stingray is Jet Stingren. Nice. Screw it. Gonna be reckless. That's the name of the game starting in X4. <laughs> Basically. Especially with Zero. Yeah. Okay, the, the thing with the X games prior is that they're all fairly difficult, especially three. And if you're reckless, you're just gonna die over and over again. Yeah. Because you'll run out <laughs> you'll you'll run out of weapon energy and you'll have no health. Also nice that's, that's nice job. The hard tank. <sighs> come on, come on, I can do it. <laughs> I know you need double jump, but fuck it. I mean, you can do it by just landing on the, uh, um, the platform that the drill things break out. I have how terrible I luck with that, because for some reason the drill, like, drops as I'm hopping onto the platform. Just like, well, that's rude. It's right. a little weird to pull off, but it's, I find the more reliable way to do it. It also cuts down on backtracking later. Yeah. If you're playing as X, you can get it a little easier because if you probably come here with Web Spider's weapon and you can just use it to, to wall jump and get it. 
That is true too. I actually never thought to <laughs> do that because I always use that method I just did right there. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of how you can uh, get the heart tank in Spark Mandrill stage next one way before you're supposed to. All right. Good time. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever gotten it with like the way they want you to do it. Yeah. Because it just takes so much time. And then Maverick Hunter was like, now you have to get it that way. Yeah, basically Maverick Hunter did. Ba I did like Maverick Hunter. It kind of uh, touched up on some short sights that the original design had. Which is nice. There's a couple like cool things about Maverick Hunter, but in general, I feel like it just takes the original and slows it all down. Split mushroom. It's a mushroom that splits. Who knew? But does he make good soup? Mm. Oh. Yeah. It's also significantly easier, uh, or significantly less pain in the ass cloning boss than Infinity Maginion. <laughs> Nothing will ever be as bad as that boss. Yeah. Like, I love, I like X6, I won't say love, but even I will admit, that's, <laughs> that's cool, booty. Like, there's some, there are some annoying Mavericks. I think Infinity Maginion is the worst in the whole series. Yep. Okay, no, I like that's actually a really smooth run. <laughs> Even some of the more annoying Mavericks in X3, like Neon Tiger, I can at least develop a pattern in this general strategy. I can't I can't do that for, for Infinity Virginia. Yeah. Especially not if you're playing a zero. Kuinbu. Ah, 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 ah now nah, the game's broken. Oh, lamb, you got a sword heart? I got a... Fuck, I don't even remember. It was that worthless for my summon. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to ask about the soup. Okay, so to make this... Uh, hmm. I can literally go in any order, but... Let's go with the second worst Maverick to start with. Magma Dragoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was about to suggest uh, Sniper Peacock, and then I remembered that you're not playing his X, so you gain no advantage over him here. Right. Also, I don't go by weakness order because I rarely use their weaknesses. So yeah. I usually go weakness order because I, I play Mega Man games as fast as I feasibly can. Ah, oh, look at that spin. Yes. Love it. I'm just using it for no reason right now, but fuck it. <laughs> Meteors. Ah. My tools. I remember the, the first time I played X4, I tried to go Magma Dragoon first. <laughs> oh, man. I think I just went from left to right. And even <laughs> then, that was pretty difficult for me. I mean, then you start with uh, Web Spider. Which is at least a better starter than Magma Dragoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although if you uh, if you're too if you're going against the theme of just go be as reckless as possible in X4, if you're too reckless in Web Spider, you're you're gonna die. Oh yeah, I learned that real quick. Especially if you're zero, because you have to get so close to him to do damage, and then you run the yes. risk of getting caught in the web. Which I will say, I appreciate X6 for actually giving Zero a buster. Yes, which, by the way, <laughs> for some reason, makes Infinity Maginion a little more manageable. I don't well, know yeah, why. because because Zero's buster is ungodly powerful. For some reason. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's basically, it's like a shotgun. Oh, the closer right. that you are, it's going to do a hell of a lot more damage. <laughs> I forget. I got the double jump from Split Mushroom. I was thinking that way too hard. Good job. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to bring in the right armor. There's a Hunter Medal for uh, beating Magma Dragoon with the right armor. I With it? Well, for delivering the last hit uh, to him with it. 
Oh, okay. So you Actually, can essentially bring you can essentially bring it in, get out of it, and fight him until he's down to like basically no health, and then punch him one time. Okay. Eh, you know what? I think I'll do that. Uh, it, it, uh, it takes a second to pop. Like it doesn't actually go off uh, until I think when he's doing his death animation, like after his dialogue. But mm. not gonna lie, he's a lot easier. Oh, the, the, the armor. <clears throat> yeah, because you're a lot. It's harder to avoid a lot of his attacks when you're not, or when you're Ouch. in the right armor. Ah, screw it. Don't you sure you can be, young man? Ow. I'm fairly certain the entire design process behind this boss was like, what if we just made a Street Fighter boss? Basically. Oh, I did it. I think my armor's gonna self-destruct, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it just did it. <laughs> I think it still counts. Oh, it did. He brought fist to a mech fight. <laughs> nice. Uh, I like a lot of the dead. Oh, yeah, Liam made a good point. So, in Japan, they're actually known as the regular hunters, which is a very stupid yeah. name, but they never did change that for America when this game came over here. So people are like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what side? That uh, I am and really that said, I am. Uh, I, I very much prefer Maverick Hunter to Irregular Hunter. Yeah. Irregular is probably something that would be more like realistically used, but Maverick just sounds better. I can't imagine that. <laughs> that just sounds stupid. <laughs> So this is the one Maverick I actually recommend people start with. It's yeah, very easy. his stage is easy. If you're playing as X, they're your first uh, armor pieces here. Yep, right here. It's probably the least useful if you ask me, but I don't even remember which one it is actually. Which one is it? It's the it's the leg parts. Oh yeah, the ones that give you the mostly pointless hover. Yeah. Which more often than not just ends up screwing me over. I. Uh, ah. Heck. Oh, getting Super Mario 2 up in this biatch. I did it. Oh, oh part's over. <laughs> when, I started it, when I started humming that, it hadn't even started yet, so. <laughs> I always love those delays on streams. Nice. Oh, so this game does something different with how it, I guess, segregates the areas now. Uh, I guess it saves in between each stage transition, but you also get yeah. a full heal with it too. Yeah, X, it, X4 started this weird thing where every time you cross the checkpoint or into a new area, and every time you died, it would refill your weapon energy. Yes, and also if you lose all your lives, you actually just start from the last area you were in, so... Yeah. yeah. X5 would make this even easier by... Even if you got a game over in a boss room, you would start in the boss room. Yes. Because in, in X4, if you get a game over while fighting a boss, you would go back to the, the last area. But X5 yeah. was like, we'll just keep it in the boss room. Okay, I actually never knew that. <laughs> this whole system... Uh, makes the weapon tank and EX tank introduced in this game completely worthless. Yep. Alright, I, I can have, burn uh, these tree chunks. I have no idea why they uh, why they decided to remove the ability to have four sub-tanks for items that you do not need. Hmm, get quiet. <laughs> okay, get in there with us. That's the thing I noticed about the PlayStation X games is that they make a lot of strange decisions for reasons I cannot even come close to figuring out. It definitely makes it more streamlined, I would say. Yeah, but like I don't really have a problem with this. Uh, my, my thing with just adding in the extra tanks is they're, they're pointless. Right. But uh, 
it's mostly starting in like X5 when they when they start making you need to get all four pieces of armor before you can equip the armor parts. Where I go, yeah, why? <laughs> See, it's because that was my first main game. I personally don't have an issue with that design, but going back to other I mean, games, it's not like a it's not like a thing that really bugs me. It's just weird. Yeah, but I think they do that because you have more than one armor set. Maybe. And incidentally, in X5, neither of them are any good. <laughs> mm. huh? I would say Falcon Armor is pretty good. I mean, they all they the both they both have their flaws. Well, all the Falcon Armor is all right, four. but honestly, the I at the end of the day, I would prefer to just use the fourth armor. Yeah, they all have their flaws, but I think they're all good in their own way. Plus, the guy armor it's just the, makes a complete joke out of one of the the um, Sigma stages. Yeah, but I, I hate using the Gaia armor because of its absolute garbage damage in, uh, output. It's I think it's supposed to have a better damage output, but I don't think it really does. You have to be really close to get the most out of it. Yeah. My thing is that there are... there's um, I think it's a heart tank in uh, Volt Kraken stage. Mm -hmm. where you need the Gaia armor for, but getting through that stage with the Gaia armor is the most uh, irritating thing. Uh... I, I don't... I, I mean, I already don't really like... The, I already don't really like that stage because of the locks. Hmm. Continue without saving, because I'm a G. Well... Frost Wars. I'm I'm literally just making this up, word up as I go. <laughs> I, mean, I think this path is uh, this particular order is cutting out a lot of the backtracking that you would normally be doing. Yes. If anything, I don't think I'll have to do any backtracking at all. If, if there's any, you'd have to go back like one stage, I think. Because yeah. with what you've got now, you can get the um, the heart tank and the ex tank. Is it the ex tank here? Um. Yes, it is. You got all the stuff in Web Spider Stage. I already got that. Yeah. Yeah, it was just um, well. Well, Zero has less stuff in general because he doesn't have to worry, worry about armor. Yeah. Uh, I think Magma Dragoon had the heart tank, which you got, and it also has yeah. an X armor, but you zero. So. Yeah. So I've gotten everything so far. We playing shit out here. <laughs> Oh, something we didn't um, point out at the beginning of the stage. Bilzer Buffalo was frozen in the ice. Uh, yeah, you heard me yeah, right. I, I'm... I love that. Even better is that in the uh, in the mini boss room uh, coming up, or alternatively, that you're already in, depending on how far behind the stream is. Uh, uh, I, I just there. got there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Penguin that is chilled. How are they frozen if they have control over ice? Uh huh. <laughs> Or if you uh, if you prefer the Japanese names, I see Penguigo. Hmm. I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Tell him I said hey. He's not gonna tell him I said hey. So this stage has a different uh, piece of music for the second half of it. I makes me wonder why. All the stages aren't like that. Cause I really like that. Well enjoy that. Like that. Like like. But yeah, I feel like this is just a business opportunity. But yeah, who knows what they were thinking of when they were making this. Okay, trying to be careful so I don't like screw myself out of the tank. Oh, oh. Oh, I love this move. Oh. Dead. 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 Oh, you're not dead. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That was insane. Okay, we're actually getting close to it. Ooh, look at that extra life I don't need. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Everything dies to this move. It's great. Now there's one part that's kind of awkward. Okay, never mind. That that actually wasn't bad. I just know the rep of force in the background. Oh, something else that's in this. Uh, I'll just wait till Chase gets back. Whatever you say. Ah, fight me, bro. That's basically what the dialogue amounts to. <laughs> yeah, Frostbolt is a pretty easy boss, too. He can be your first. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, he's returned. But yeah, I was just saying, Frostbolt is pretty easy as well. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, also detail I like. A lot of the ice bosses are super easy. Yeah, basically. But uh, another detail that I uh, like, uh, the icon on their health bar will match who they're aligned with. So Frost Rollers, he's aligned with the Rebel Force, the Split Mushroom, he was aligned with Sigma. So they each had their own icon. I really like that. I didn't notice that. I noticed the R for a lot of the Rebel Force ones, but never noticed the, uh, the Sigma ones. Yeah. I think it's Split Mushroom and... Uh, I want to say... I think Cyber Peacock is with Sigma from the start as well. I think so? I think... I can't remember. I want to say there's actually more um, Rebel Force bosses than... Uh, yeah, because Rebel that. Force is supposed to be like the main bad guys, red idiots of the game. Yes. So here's like one major difference. Uh, oh, this is Saturn Civil. Uh, for some reason, Zero has a cutscene midway, but X actually fights the Colonel. Yes. Yeah. Like, that made no sense to me. <laughs> Zero fights the Colonel later in the in Final Weapon, but yes, but X I don't know why has he that same here. fight. Yeah, I'm about to say X yeah. has that same fight. Fitting X Factor twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, why? He's, he's zero fight him here in this cutscene. Uh, why don't we play it out? <laughs> <laughs> Something I discovered on my uh, second playthrough of this. You can more or less beat uh, the Colonel's first fight by just sort of standing in one spot and jumping. Yes, because he does the same thing over and over again. And also, yeah. if you have the leg parts, it just makes it easy, easier because oh, you yeah. can hover all of his attacks. Yeah. All you have to do is use X and square or whatever you map your buttons to. So if for some reason you map the jump button to start, well, by all means, boo-boo, you do you. <laughs> but Just remember to, to jump. Is yes. that... The Colonel's hitbox is a really interesting when he does his like wave attack that we'll see when we actually fight him later. You can stand right in front of him because they don't actually come right out of his sword. You can actually stand right in the spot between where he is and where they spawn as an attack. Yeah, because for some reason his and, sword doesn't have a hitbox, and I don't know why. Yeah, I mean it does, but it's really small. Mm-hmm. Which is why you can essentially jump right through it when he tries to slice you. Yeah, I don't know if I'll try it here. Ah, I might just show it off. But we'll see then. Just Stingray is everyone's favorite stage. Uh, I'll still take it over Volt Krakens. Uh, I would say Volt Krakens because it's not the entire stage. <laughs> Fair. But trying to get the balls for the armor part? Uh. Maybe because it's, it's like kind of hard coded into my brain, but I don't have issues with that anymore. I, I have I, I have less trouble with it as I continue to to play through X Five again, but yeah. I still don't really like doing it. I still will take X Five any day over something like X Six or Seven. Hmm. I forgot to press the dash button. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So, how's everyone Sunday? Sunday. Also, I'd like to point out, I think you missed the uh, the X tank in Frost Walrus. 
no. I got it. Did you? Well, we'll see yeah. on the save screen. Got the heart tank and the uh, weapon sink. I know you got the weapon tank, but there's the... The EX tank as well, isn't there? The, um... The EX tank? No. Are you thinking of, like, like the, those hidden extras in the top, or...? No, there's a... Uh, right after the... Like, right after that first area, when you have the... The ice slopes that form, when you get all the way to the to the wall over on the right, you wall jump up there, and the EX tank is up the very top. Um, oh, shh. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I think I did mix that. I was forget about that stupid thing. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's completely to... worthless. Yeah, that's why I don't think I bothered ever getting it. Same with X5. I don't really bother with it in that game either. I always get it just because I'm really particular and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get everything. Yeah, well, I guess I can still show it off. You might have to... <laughs> oh, shoot, I messed up. <laughs> you might have to like uh, kind of guide me because I I can't remember oh, where it oh. is, but because I never go out of my way to pick it up. I'll guide I, as best as I can with the uh, stream delay. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get a tank. Yep. This stage, man. <laughs> a lot of the like ride bike sections, I don't know. <laughs> just no. The not really the worst one, but probably the most annoying one is still probably an X7. I, I just passed it. But <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Yeah, X7 is like you don't even. It's not even like a automatic thing. It's like you have to find bombs. And yeah, like you like it's not hard. It's just kind of annoying. And the control would you count? Would you count Gigabolt Man of War in X8 as a ride bike section? Kind of, sorta, but it's not offensive. <laughs> so, I mean, it's also one I don't enjoy doing. <clears throat> True. I guess it is offensive in that sense. I mean, it's still not as bad as X7s or even this one, but... Uh, I like X8, but a lot of the choices they made for particular stages completely baffle me. I agree with that. Also, you don't have to dash to get that uh, tank. That's good to know, <laughs> for future reference. Mm -hmm. Ah, I was hiding in the exert. I love fighting Jet Stingray as X, because... You essentially, it's another one of those bosses where you can just stand in one spot. Yep. But he's pretty easy. Just. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little harder, little harder with zero, if you don't time things right. Also, welcome, Echo. Hello. <laughs> Finally made well, it. Well, <laughs> time. I, how late was I? It's been about. 45 minutes or so? You cut out, I didn't hear how long. Yeah, uh, 45 minutes or so, I think. Well, you know what I can at least say? I could say that I got in here before Moist did. <laughs> and that's the victory. Yes. I'm dealing with good old Jet Stingray right now. Oh, fun. <laughs> nice. One of the least memorable Mavericks, along with uh, Earthrock Trilobite. And. Somebody else I've forgotten. <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> you just it's proved weird, your point. Cause, cause... Oh yeah, everyone in X seven. <laughs> <laughs> they isn't named Flame High Yard. Oh no. He's memorable for the wrong reason, but uh more than that when we get to yeah. the game. <laughs> Incidentally, uh the guy who voiced Flame High Yard is Bomberman in Super Bomberman R. Fuck. <laughs> I'm I'm sad now. You know, I like how, because um, now when I went back to the X Collection, I finally realized that X2 has become one of my favorite games now. X, oh, yeah, X2 is oh. really good. I did a um, second playthroughs of the first, or, like, second on the X Collection, I've played through the first three countless times at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, like, having done that, I really 
them flip flopping between if two or three is my favorite. I mean, because I like them both a lot. Two is really good because if your sequel, to me, feels like if your sequel is better than the original product in um, like almost every way, you have my win there. Yeah. I mean, there's still only just a few problems with X three, but not that much. They're like I. I like X3 a lot. I will grant that there are a lot of problems, especially uh, first time. It will, it will eat you. That game yep. does not like you. So Duke, when you do an X5, um, like, <laughs> you, I think the question should be when you're doing X5 again. I, yeah. say, I definitely streamed it two weeks ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you streamed X6. That's what I was. Oh X6, I'm gonna mean, be after X1. So. Next game will actually be X1, and then it'll be X6. Yeah, X6. I'm just going to hop all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going in the order that I per- play the games first. Like, when they were like, on PlayStation. Oh, look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I nice. love this. Yeah, I love the sprite work in this game. It varies from really good to questionable to why. <laughs> and man, are the whys really beautiful. Um, let's. Uh, well, at least I can say I made it before the most, the best part of this game for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh no. You know. We haven't, we haven't gotten to the, uh, to the moment. We haven't gotten to that very important question that everyone asks whenever they well, play a game. It's gonna be the same thing when Duke ever streams Devil May Cry. <laughs> you better believe I'll be there for that. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not missing that moment. <laughs> Something I want to mention uh, about Cyber Peacock stage, more about a thing later that would take inspiration from it. Uh, I like the idea of like testing you on these little sections and giving you items based on your performance. Yes. X8 would take that idea for Optic Sunflower and make it annoying. Yep. Yeah, that was a yep. very odd choice, and I um, I, I kind of liked it, it but eh? I mean, you can. It's easier if you bring zero in and have the deglave, considering the deglave just hits basically everything on screen, considering how gigantic it is. It's it's weird for me because I think this is like a I don't know if this is unpopular, but because I, when I was younger I was so used to X, so playing as why is he doing the, <laughs> the sprites, man? That really, <laughs> um. I'm so used to X, so when I finally played to Zero for the first time, it threw me off completely. But yeah, no, wow. it's weird. Yeah, it was because like, I usually I usually play as X in the uh, in the X games. Yeah. Zero all day, baby. Except X Seven because he's trash in that game. <laughs> you know what? I think he's significantly worse than he was in say X Six. But honestly, I'd still rather play as Zero in that than uh, Axel. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> no. Just because Axel makes my hands hurt. Yeah. You know, it's because I still haven't bought Axe Collection 2, and you know my reasons why. <laughs> but Jesus. Honestly, X7 is, it's not good, but it's better than, uh, it's better than uh, X, X6. And 5 is better than a lot of people give it credit for. Oh yeah, 5 I still say is really good. But... 5 is still my favorite Mega Man game of all time. It's there's things that annoy me about it, but generally I like it. Oh yeah. Well, people RNG people no. often say that X Five is like the say end to the X series in a sense. But yeah, I saw um somebody gave a basic overview of the X collection, and it was basically that uh, the first one is the best games, and then the second one is how the series lost its lost its flair. Yeah, and that's not. A hundred percent wrong, but I still think there are more. There are more good X games, or at least all right X games, than there are bad ones. Yeah, I think when it comes to the X series, I I still stand by. And I think uh, Silicon Valley Giants did this really good. The first game gives you a great introduction to the series. I mean, I mean, I know people that have played the other games to start with, but oh yeah. Um, but X, like, the stream there, that was really good. X2, good sequel. And then with X3, X4, and X5, that's where I see it. Yeah. To me, uh, everything after 2 is essentially, like, 2 added some extra stuff to make it, like, to actually improve upon it. And then 3 and onwards, up to 5, sort of tweak stuff to make it a better series. And then 6 and 7 sort of 
I don't know what happened. Yeah. Stuff. And then eight. <laughs> and then eight was like, let's try again. <laughs> and they, I think they succeeded for the most part. Well, we might be getting a new X game soon. Apparently. Yeah, Maybe. I, I. I hope. Well, you know what people? I think what Capcom doesn't realize, and it's it's always the case with a lot of their games now, is that they Mega Man Eleven. I think in their heads they think it won't sell well, but it's going to sell really well. People want a new Mega Man game. I mean, I think in their position, I'd be one. I'd be kind of worried about it as well because like we haven't had a Mega Man game in eight years. Well, I mean, uh -huh. after after a certain game that came out a couple years ago. At this mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. yeah, we don't talk about that game here, but uh, no, we do. <laughs> I streamed it. Uh, yeah, that's a good without point. without bringing it to a big to a big thing. I just want to say that I still do enjoy that game. I played it on the Wii U. That's why I have very bad memories. Oh yeah, you had a bad time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Also, uh, when can I end the mission? The I was it was horrible on Wii U. Um, I have it. I actually like it too. I still haven't really played Command Mission. It's fairly decent. I, I like I played a little bit of it back in. 2005, maybe? Because I rented it from a uh, from a Hollywood video. Oh, the memories. <laughs> that was how I played most things, was yeah, renting they, them for a uh, Hollywood video. video and Blockbuster. <laughs> That's how I, I never had a Blockbuster. Mega Man. Through Video Warehouse. No. I was I was kind of losing it a couple days ago because um, someone sent me some old Brawl soundtracks. Oh. And all oh, that brings me back in the day. <laughs> If there's one, if there's one thing I'll give Brawl credit for, it's, yeah, the coin launcher theme is so good. <laughs> Dude, can you actually make that a song in your stream? <laughs> what? The coin launcher theme. The coin launcher theme from Brawl. I don't think you get copyrighted. I've seen people use it. I, uh, I can. <laughs> now that you mention, I actually do like that song. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good song. It, it, it's a good, it's a good theme. <laughs> also, hype for those Castlevania remixes in, uh, oh. in Ultimate. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I never even talked to you about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, finally, we finally got Chrome. <laughs> yeah, Chrome oh. from the Fire Amble. <laughs> all I can, all I can say is, by goddamn time, <laughs> that's literally the first <laughs> words that came out of my mouth when I saw it. You were waiting so long. <laughs> Uh, it's like, don't I get just, me wrong, I appreciate Lucina and all, but... <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the thing that made me the happiest was Dark Samus. I mean, yeah, Dark Samus that, was a huge one for me, but... God, that, was, that was probably the most surprising thing for me. I was wondering if they would ever do a Dark Samus when 4 came out. Especially once, uh... Like, once we... I guess, not really found out, but so much as realized the yeah. way... Bowser Jr. and the different Koopalings worked as alternate costumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, what if they did that with like with other characters and made Dark Samus well, one of Samus's? What makes it even more shocking is because Dark Samus doesn't look like Samus. Yeah. So that's what makes it really shocking for, okay, how far are you going to go for the Echoes then? Yeah. She should look like Goku. <laughs> I want to I go briefly off topic and say that um, the area we just passed right before the, the mini boss, that's the worst set of light capsules to get. Oh, Probably yeah. in the whole series. I love how he says, let's go off topic by going on topic about the game that's yeah. actually on stream. I mean, the current topic is fucking good. I mean, brain scratch comms? <laughs> that? Yeah, no, the, the Buster Light capsules, only one of which is even worth getting, are probably the most, save for the foot parts for the, the Shadow Armor in X6, probably the worst capsules yeah. to try to get in the whole series. Yeah. I mean... I can agree with you, but I remember there was one other one I can't remember at this point. Uh, the Buster upgrade in X1 is kind of difficult, but not really... Not not so much that you're going to die, but it just takes time. Um... Yeah, I, I just really blinked. <laughs> yeah. There's, like, there's, uh, capsules that are, that are hard. Uh, there's a capsule in, um... In, uh... I just said it. Uh, Optic Sunflower stage in X8. Oh, you yeah. have to 
you have to get the uh, a high rank on every one of those fucking training rooms to get. Hmm. Um. Yeah. And I really need to play more because my mind is really just drum blanks right now. Because mm -hmm. I was um tornadoes. I was dead cells. <laughs> Yeah, I've just been playing Mega Man a lot Ow. since the X Collection came out. Well, to, to kind of go a little off topic in this case, um, did you guys hear about the whole IGN thing? That sells. Yeah, uh, it was great. I think I, did. I, yeah. think I did. That the the dude that plagiarized the random review online. Yeah, what was really funny to do with now the dude's like claiming he was like a victim. Was yeah. It. It. Oh, so you died to Storm Owl. Yeah. Did you die to Storm Eagle? No. <laughs> I would hope not. But no, since I'm streaming, it's definitely possible. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I wasn't there, nor have I yet watched the uh, X5 stream. Did you die to Spyro Pegasus? Uh, no. Good. <laughs> that said, Spyro Pegasus is probably the most annoying Maverick in X5. I just cheesed it with Falcon Armor. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I usually do. <laughs> See, I don't the route that I the route that I go and how paranoid I am about the time limit. I never have Falcon armor by the time I get to him. Paranoid by the time limit. Like I'm probably never gonna tick tick down all the way, but I just I want to get it all out of the oh, way. Oh I... no, because of like Are you... the the colony. Yeah, like I don't want to waste time backtracking before I deal with that. So I usually wait until the uh, well, yeah. the end game stages are ready, and then I go backtrack for stuff in X Five. Oh, that's the opposite of me. I purposely run the clock down so I can get the power ups. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really paranoid about time limits like that. It's one of the reasons why Majora's Mask is really stressful for me to play. Oh. <laughs> but at least I can reset Majora's Masks basically whenever I feel like it. After I did my run of X Five trying to get the best ending, I. Could not care less now in X5. I'd just go for everything. I just go I got. Places. I got really lucky on my uh, X5 run getting best ending without having to, to be finicky with anything. Come on. Do the thing. There we go. Dang. See, if I didn't run into the tornado like an idiot in the last fight, <laughs> he would have died. <laughs> um, I will say, though. Um, forgot to talk about one other thing with the Smash, the Smash Direct. My my character, my character's here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe Dan got into Smash for his ultimate. I know. <laughs> yeah, he got into Smash. He finally did. I feel so bad for him because people were telling him like, "Dan, you got into Smash." <laughs> And after a while, he's just like, fuck it, I'll just run with the joke. <laughs> yep. Oh, I really cannot wait to play as <laughs> K-Roll. I really cannot. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. He's another one of those characters where I'm like, why did it take him so long to add him? I'm not wondering if enough people still cared about Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> eh. Maybe. Well, people care about the series. The problem was, like... Because after the second, like, uh, Tropical Freeze, it was good, there was no doubt about it, it was just like, well, we already have two games of this now. Yeah. We want something kind of, like, over I'll always, I'll always appreciate Tropical Freeze, though, because I didn't like Returns, but Tropical Freeze, I, I love that game. I still haven't finished it, but it's, it's really good. Do you want about the Funky Kong mode? <laughs> I still need to pick up the Switch version. I do, too. <laughs> Actually, it's tax with Recon, so... I might actually but what about it. a sequel to Donkey Kong 64? I know. <laughs> what about a new Donkey Kong Jungle Beat? Oh, that'd be awesome, actually. Oh. Yeah, that actually <laughs> would be good. <laughs> and I mean, you could probably integrate it with Nintendo Labo? Yeah. Yeah. They integrated it with Kurt. If you guys so, did the video I posted of, um... Um... Nintendo, or the... Uh, the Wii theme on Nintendo Labo. I don't think I saw that, now. Oh, I'll send it to you. It's... It's, it's, <clears throat> it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> sure, magical. We'll go with that. Feel the magic. Can you feel the magic? No. Oh. 
Another thing to, uh, to mention about X4's selection of bosses, uh, the Slash Beast is the lamest Maverick of all time. Yeah, I can agree with you there. Because he's a beast that slashes. Well, I mean, like, look, just think about it. He looks cool, and he's got an awesome name, but you can make him just run in a line if you have his weakness. True. And his entire his entire thing is I pro he, I, he protects the uh, safe transport of goods. Yep. Mm-hmm. Every other every other one in this game is like uh, he lives in the in the forest and attacks anyone who attack and attacks anyone who comes there, or he betrayed the irregular hunters and hid himself in a volcano. <laughs> Flash Beast is just I, I protect the train. There you go. I sent it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, fighting him without his weakness though is definitely oh, yeah. a patient game. Oh, yeah. uh, I feel like you have to. It's like playing Street Fighter, honestly. Yeah. Oh. I love when I just randomly jump out of my armor. It's great. Like that. <laughs> Stop. See, that's, that's the thing is that I can never reliably jump out of the armors. Because yeah. if you're holding any direction other than only up, you're not going to do it. Uh. Uh. You know, so magical is definitely a way to explain to describe this video. Oh yes. <laughs> um, it's something else. Um, what I uh, what I what I would kind of like though, if they ever did X Nine, and I know they would never do this, but I, if somehow, some way, they brought back classic in like some sort of fashion. Like classic yeah. Mega Man cameo, just something. <laughs> Even I mean, what they what they could reasonably do is like have a schematic or something in the background. Because yeah. by this point in the in the timeline, classic Mega Man is super dead. Yes, yeah. <laughs> stupid dead. Not yeah, just, just dead. Stupid dead. No, oh, super dead, my man. I think he's a stupid dead. I was like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it. I mean, it works regardless. Well, he's mostly dead. <laughs> no, nah, he's dead as dirt. Yeah. We never explained what actually got him, though. Well, um, technically. Robo Enzo. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> my my guess would be that whole uh, expiration date that they brought in for Mega Man 9. Yeah. <laughs> he <wits> it up. <laughs> He's super fast. Yeah, yeah, also he has an awesome introduction. He runs alongside the train. <laughs> Well, have, have either of you guys watched the Day of Sigma? Uh, the Day uh, of Sigma yes. Short? Yep. I just My... like how. Oh, sorry. Um, I just like how right, like, you see characters like talk for like, "Hey, Storm Eagle, what's up?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, My favorite thing about it is how its mere existence basically completely screwed there ever being a chance of a Maverick Hunter X two. Yep. Because yep. Doctor Kane dies in that, and yep. he kind of yep. needs to exist for X two. <laughs> it's fine. My only, the only thing I, I could think of they could do to uh, to alleviate. Oh, I'll be right back. No. Ow! Is like claim that it's suddenly in high canon, or just completely rewrite X two. Basically, that's a good vacuum. I know, right? I hope my mic does pick that up. It doesn't come up too loud. <laughs> it did. Also, a uh, cool little detail about the uh, the saber upgrade for Zero is that it changes the blade color. Yep. And this is like the only time that ever happens. Ah, uh, you're right. I think you get that chip power up in X5 that happens as well. Ah, uh, Shakuga. My favorite flavor. What? Oh, it's the favorite fight that should have happened four stages ago. <laughs> yeah, vacuum. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> vacuum, the ultimate maverick. <laughs> I mean, we did have a dust man. I don't see any reason why we couldn't have like a vacuum. I'm trying to think of like a, an animal again. Vacuum <laughs> giraffe. A vacuum giraffe. <laughs> Look, Snipe Ant Edor is a thing, so let's not rule out any ideas. You're right. <laughs> Never forget. God, X7 has some of the weirdest bosses. Yeah, Burn Burn to the Ground was a very weird name. Burn! Yeah. Ah. Wow, he bounced all the way to the top of the steps. <laughs> Boingy, boingy, boingy. <laughs> Alright, Colonel. Uh, fight. This is one of the fights that I think is actually easier with zero. Yep. I mean, either way, you can basically just cheese it by sitting on the wall, but. Yep. I don't know. Oh! It ate my double jump input for some reason. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Huh. Okay, um, he hasn't done Energy Breaker a single time. There he is! Yeah. I don't think he ever... He, he doesn't do it until he takes some damage, I think. Um, there's been instances where he, like, just starts with it, and I'm just like, okay, bro. <laughs> huh. I've never seen that happen. Yeah, it's weird. Don't... I mean, he's spamming it now, but... <laughs> yeah, once he starts using it, he uses it every cycle. Yeah. But it can take him a second to actually start it. There's one attack he did not use. Hmm. Um, ground slam. It's very rare. I've literally only seen it yeah. once in my entire life. But basically, yeah. he hops up to the air, smashes the ground with his sword, and it creates a giant shockwave. And you actually had to hug the very corner in order to dodge it. Now I think about it. Or, have the preemptive and just jump over it because it grows the further out it goes. Yeah. I've seen him do it a couple times, but he does not do it very often. Uh, I'm about to ask a question. Uh, I don't know what my tanks are looking like, but screw it. Probably fine. I mean, you can always go to Frost Walrus and farm for a thousand years. Yeah, yes. Oh, a thousand years. That, that's plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, these things are... Plus, plus, if you ask me, you don't, really, you don't really start needing the energy tanks until the Sigma fight. Yeah. That's the only time I ever use them. Those are my I still this backfires in the boss rush, and I need to use one. <laughs> the Sigma fight in this game, by the way, is still, I think, probably the worst one. You think so? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's easy. Like when you understand it, it's not hard <laughs> necessarily. But man, I just don't like fighting it. Ah, uh, 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 purple energy. I not, say it. not to mention not that, not to mention that even if you do know what you're doing, it's still gonna take forever. I would say, honestly, X three is probably the worst. Mm, X three is annoying, but only because the the target you have to hit is so small, and the hitbox is deceptive. Because if you try to actually aim at Sigma at, at Kaiser Sigma's head, you're just gonna bounce off. You have to aim like the at the shoulder part just above it. But whether or not you have an easy time with X4's final boss is dependent entirely on how you can manipulate his uh, second form to do as little damage as uh, possible, and then whether or not you get decent luck on the attacks he uses the third form for the, the head on the ground thing. So yeah, um, <laughs> Iris. Yeah. This, this fight, I think, is... It's harder than the double fight, but it's still kind of... No, eh. did you not just see what I was doing? 
<laughs> as long as you have her backed up into the wall, you can literally just do a full hop jump and spin slash. You will not. Lose. Well, yeah, no, like it's not like it's not a hard fight, but I think it's harder than double. Oh, that's really not saying a lot. <laughs> no. Oh, forever gain entertainment from uh, one of Double's attacks being called Evil Slash. Yes. Don't mind that brushing noise. I'm literally brushing my hair. Alright, the, the class moment. Gotta keep my ways fresh. <laughs> GG Rip Iris, indeed. No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? He never learns the answer to that question. <laughs> Prez have to pay respects. <laughs> Fuck that. She gets a cue from me. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I would do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using a, a brush with boar bristles on it. Helps my waves form better. Um, so this is one of the instances where there's like split paths for some reason. Yeah. I don't really know path. why. I don't think it. Ever, I don't think either one gives you any kind of benefit. No. The top one. The top one is less annoying. Yeah. Because yeah. the bottom one, there's bottomless pits all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get a ride armor, but... It doesn't just... really help you. Yes. <laughs> Burning <laughs> F5. <laughs> Man, why did you press F4? That would have been no sense. Alt, F Alt F4 to pay us. Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> For some reason, you have to move forward after the warning when you fight the General. Yeah, <laughs> I do also, love though that uh, you can see him pop in. Yes. Also, this fight's pretty easy as well. I always have trouble with it with zero, unless you do decide to cheese it by uh, jumping on the back wall. Uh, duh. <laughs> if only because, it, it, or rather, it's not really hard if you don't do that. It just takes forever. Yeah. Also, it depends on his pattern. Yeah. Could you? This is a. Uh, it is. This is more or less how I how I fight the Shadow Devil in X Five though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I still need to try that one day. Yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't when I when I did it. I didn't think it would work just because of his hitbox, but his hitbox is really weird, so it just barely works. So long as you. Make sure that you are tapping the button as fast as possible, and you go down like you don't go down at all, because then you'll you'll clip him. This is exciting. Action, excitement. Look, General, I'm gonna need you to do something different. Yeah, this is my thing with the, the, the PlayStation X games, is that a lot of the time, they seem very adamant about taking as much time as possible to do everything. Fuck! <laughs> this is the fourth time in a row he's doing this attack. <laughs> my point exactly. Ugh. At, least with, <laughs> at least with Sigma, you can manipulate his second form into doing what you need him to. But with this, yeah. it's just sort of Don't you do it whatever time. his oh, brain God. decides. I've seen runs where this is all he does the entire fight, is the fists. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but what are you fighting for? That's a very good question. Yuki, it's been how many years now? <laughs> and no one still has an <laughs> answer to that question. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, Sigma. Well, if you uh, if you believe X, uh, you're fighting for the chance to finally stop fighting because people shouldn't fight and everybody should live in peace. Wah, wah, wah. 
I don't believe you. <laughs> X gets uh, very annoying in this series. Yeah, okay, I just want to see if my tanks are filled up. They probably are, without me trying. Eh, just one more run. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. And full. Evil dudes logic, throw the same attack over and over again until it works. Yeah, pretty much. Fighting for DLC content. <laughs> what? Or does he Final. fight for his friends? Uh, no. Because he ain't got none. <laughs> we literally killed them all on the way here. Alright, final weapon. Rip, rip Repli Force. Final, final weapon. weapon. Okay, I'm gonna try to show off as many weaknesses as I can, but because I rarely fight with weaknesses, there are some I just do not remember. Trying to do some of them is hard. I think it's uh, it can be a little annoying to try to fight Magma Dragoon with his because Speaking you end of up hard. Um, West Spider is literally impossible with Zero. His weakness is yeah. Slash Beast weapon, and yeah. Slash Beast weapon is only a ground based weapon. So, uh, GG. Something similar happens in X Six. Uh, you cannot use Rainy Turtleoid's weakness against him if you're playing as X. Shit, what is this? What's his weakness again? It's, um, Blizzard Wolfang's weapon. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> How did I mess that up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can do it with zero either, just because the... Because it makes you jump up to a, up to a ceiling, but Rainy Turtleoid's ceiling is too high. Ah, I got hit. Uh, X Tex is a delightful mess. That's what it happens is. when your game has maybe 10 months of dev time. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's being generous. Yeah. Maybe even like, you can see. <laughs> you can see where they had no time in stages like Shield Sheldon. Where mm -hmm. the stage is all of maybe 30 seconds, not counting the boss fight. Yep. And there are just some design aspects where... Uh, I don't know, it just feels like X was not an afterthought. Because it works better <laughs> as Zero. Yeah. So yeah, so I recap keys week to... Um, Back with your Dune's weapon. I don't know why. If you're uh, if you're playing as X, he's weak to split mushrooms. Oh, that's right. Whoa, that was weird. He teleported to the floor, then immediately teleported to the air. I don't think I've ever seen. Yeah, that. no. He uh, once he gets down to about half health, he he starts to teleport a little quicker. Kind of reminds me of uh, Magnus Centipede in X2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and also, that's Cybercock is not the only boss weak to uh, that Magic Dragoon's weapon for some reason. Yeah, no. I, I, I guess they did that to make up for the fact that some of Zero's uh, acquired... Some of his techniques aren't like attacks. Yeah. Right. And they kind of fix that in X5. I, yeah. I put that in quotes because, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, was it Grizzly Slash? That's how you get the, um, spin attack. And, hold on. I keep trying to do the, there we go. I still actually, I need to play through X5 as, as zero still. Yeah. I'm doing another playthrough, or rather, I was uh, playing through it again before the stream. Uh, just doing another hmm. uh, X playthrough. It's kind of finicky in this one. There we go. But as I was saying, um, if you use that spin attack on a uh, Grizzly Slash, he does no damage. <laughs> <laughs> so you you can only use ground slashes against him when you're playing a zero. I mean, it's not like Grizzly Slash is particularly a hard boss. It's not. But it's just kind of interesting. 
And yeah. also annoying, because that's how I, I, I fight, by spamming <laughs> that. Oh yeah, that's Zero's like main thing, is the spin slash. <laughs> basically. In uh, X6, it just tears through basically everything. As it should. So Burgundy brings up a good point. Uh, this being a Zero game, I can definitely see it in some of the design aspects, and you can say that for X5 into definitely X6. I, I think mostly in the stage design, it yes. feels a lot like they wanted it to be a Zero game, but then you get mm -hmm. to some of the bosses, especially in Final Weapon, and it feels like they made them more for X. Maybe. Because fighting the general the proper way that they want you to do as Zero takes forever. That's true. X4 Ooh, is I, weird. <laughs> Why did he do that for one? I do not know. <laughs> also, a thing that we uh, won't necessarily get to until whenever the X6 stream happens, so I'm going to talk about it here now and probably will later. Once X5 introduced the, uh, the proper chip system, I like how no X game after that had the same system. They tried to replace it with the, um, I guess, the Maverick Hunters you save? In later games? Well, I mean, no, like, it's, they kept the chip system for all of them, but the way that it worked in every game was different following X5. Because uh -huh. X5, it's based on the stuff that you select at the end of Maverick stages? I still don't quite understand how X5 works. Yeah. Oh, uh, Yuki, the twin thing of fucker? I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> I don't remember how to use it, actually. So I'm not gonna bother. Um, it's like you dash. Yeah. Oh, fucking, I don't. F fuck it. I think don't it's care. a. I think it's just a slash while you you dash and then slash. I just did that, but it didn't do it. That's X five. You're thinking of. Oh. I know that's how it? I do it in X five. Yes. But for some reason. I'll look it up later. Uh, X six oh. has X six has the most annoying chip system. Because the nightmare enemies. Yep. Oh, I meant on uh, on uh, Grizzly Slash. X7 more or less had the same thing as X6, except most of the Reploids were completely worthless. Yep. You only ever needed two. And then X8 has the best one. You get uh, cores, I think they were called, from enemies, and then yep. you just use them to buy chips. Yep. If they do an X9 and they bring back the chip system, I would want them to do it like that. Basically. I'm trying to converse indirectly with the conversation. It's not the most effective means of doing this. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was weird, but all right. <laughs> and away goes Slash Beast. I almost called him Grizzly Slash. Yeah, I know his we two um, freaking. Okay, maybe I don't know his weakness, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, as as X, he's weak to uh, Ground Hunter. Okay. Zero? <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know he... if he has a particular weakness as Zero. We... Just slide with me, just slide with me, slide. Uh, I love how, love how Frost Walrus just slides all over the place. Yeah, I can't really do dash cancel as effective in this one. I think it's easier in X5 to do it. No, 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 that's a lie. X6 is the easiest. <laughs>
One thing I would want them to bring back in an X9 if they did it, the dash shot, please. Oh, yeah, because, um... Is it X2 or Start, X3? Starting in, uh... X3, it was gone. Hmm. Come at me, you stupid owl. Something I, uh, that I found out while I was doing my last playthrough of X4. When you're playing as X, you can kill Storm Owl while he's off screen. Oh, yeah. Ow. It turns out the aiming laser has a range far longer than what you may initially assume. Yep. I still stand by that that's not a good weapon otherwise, but, you know. <laughs> no, it's you not. can't do that. <laughs> Oh, those um wind things actually blocked the giga attack, <laughs> huh? Did they? Yeah. Huh. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. Huh? I did not know that. S stupid burb. What is? Okay, to be fair to Axel, I actually do like him. I think he's the he's, weakest in 7, but he's really good in 8. He's good gameplay-wise and character-wise in 8. He was yeah. awful everything in, in X7. 7, yeah. Red, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I don't remember uh, what freaking Mammoth Dreams Week 2, but uh, fuck it. Uh, the... The thing from Web Spider. Oh, wait, is it? I think so. Uh. Nope. <laughs> well, he might take more damage, but... Yeah, I don't think it stuns him. I don't know. Uh, um, I can't remember what you get from Storm Owl, because usually, because as, as X, he's weak to that. Mm. Oh, pfft. I dashed right to him. Yeah, I knew it was gonna die. Oh well. That was some weird behavior, too. Oh well. Is that dead? Maybe. He said he'd be back, but he's not back. <laughs> now you only have five lives. Oh, whatever will I do? And my man turned around oh, really to did. do the same attack. I have never seen him do that. Magma Dragoon's entire motivation for doing what he does in this game is just, I really wanted to kick X's ass. Yeah, uh, can we talk about the story and how bad it is? And, and, yeah, and that it's completely awful, and the whole, the whole reason any of it happens is because everybody in Repl Force is an idiot. And how X4 makes more sense as a start than X1 does? What? Because <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, spoiler warning. Out of the five original games, this is the only game where Zero can't die, story-wise. Yeah. Let that sink in. Ah, cosplaying as a Grim Reaper. Oh. Why does Why does the Sigma dress up as the Grim Reaper in this game? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but why? He's very ineffective. <laughs> I want to say. Oh yeah, no. The X five and six have really easy final Sigma battles, but the Especially very six. first, the <laughs> very first, uh, the very first Sigma phase in X four may be the easiest solitary fight against them, because mm. 
once you understand how he works, there's no reason to ever get hit. <clears throat> I would say X4 is a little easier because for this game, he doesn't adjust his strategy based on how much health he has. He just literally does the same exact thing regardless of how much health he has. Yeah. X5, he X at least does change things up when his health yeah, goes X down. X5s, I had a way easier... I, I, well, I mean, I had an easier time with X5s than, than 4s, if only because of 4s, uh, the third phase. Third phase. But, uh, yeah. Third phase is kind of weird, especially because he has two health bars as opposed to one. Yeah. I hate third phase so much. Yeah, it's we're going to get to it. Hopefully, RNG is kind to me because there's some... There's one attack in particular I just do not like with the third phase, and I still don't really know how to really get around it. I think I might know which one. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, this is... X, this... X, X5 Sigma is, I think, the first Sigma I ever beat on my first try. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple for the most part. Yeah. I had but... I, I did have to use the sub-tank, but I still feel like beating <laughs> a, beating a Sigma on the first try is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the case with X6, in my opinion. Oh yeah, no, X6 is, is super easy too. Yeah. Especially, especially first phase. <laughs> yes. I feel like they were poking fun at themselves at the fact that uh, their development cycle was so short. Maybe. X6, I don't know. Uh, that fight does at least have the benefit of one of the most awesome final boss themes in all of Mega oh, Man. Oh yeah, it's a great theme. And who, would win an, who would win an edge off Reaper Sigma or Reaper from Overwatch? Probably <laughs> Overwatch Reaper. Maybe. And here we see Zero being an asshole. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice attention to Diesel. I love how he has his um X1 armor yeah. in this scene. Yeah. Also, a thing that was brought up in a uh, in another playthrough that I watched that I never thought about before. This cutscene explains Sigma's eye scar. Uh, from this fight, but he also has the entire, almost the, almost the entire left half of his face ripped off. Yes, I think this is what they were originally going with. But then, like in um, the um, day of Sigma or whatever the fuck that video is called, they just switch it up. Yeah. Commander, you got fucked up. I do like this backstory for Sigma, though. I like this next line. Zero, you were a maverick? No shit. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, random guy outside my door. I agree. This story is hot garbage. Burning speed. We don't ask those kind of questions. Yeah. So yeah, this is all you have to do. Just a special and dash to the op to the side. He spawns on to dodge that. And easier, uh, easier way to do to dodge the the sweeping attack. You can just wall jump up the wall. You can do that too, but there's like a safe spot, like right under where he starts. Well, yeah, but either one works because the, and you just dash jump up the wall or wall jump up the wall he's going to, he doesn't go far enough to do contact damage to you, and then if you go to the, the wall he starts at, then he essentially just goes right past you. Yep. Either way, this, this first phase is honestly pathetic. Yeah, this second phase is. Okay, second phase can be hard if you don't know what to do. So. Yeah. He'll start off by doing a little circle maneuver with the scythe, and then he'll actually throw it and it'll stick. Now, if it sticks to the wall, that's easy, because then you can just wall jump to dodge it. If it sticks to the floor, it actually doesn't make the fight hard. So, make sure it doesn't stick to the floor. I don't want to show that off. <laughs> just take my word for it. Um, I think he's weak to web spider's weak uh, weapon. And 
and dead. That's it. He's dead. Uh, and final phase. This can be annoying or easy, depending on what he decides to do. Yeah, I return. Uh, second phase usually gave me a lot of trouble, and or gave me a lot of trouble for a while. It was the one that would do the most damage to me, and I would just get wrecked by his last form. Uh, once you once you know how to manipulate the scythe, though, it becomes less of an issue. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, just get the scythe stuck into the wall, uh, and it'll yeah. work out. This though is what even even when now even when I know what to do, this last phase can still give me issues. I hate slime signals so much. <laughs> Which one is the the one that you still have no idea how to avoid? <laughs> Um, the one I actually avoided pretty well for the first time in my life, uh, the one the, where, where he, like, he sucks, sucks you in and then oh, yeah. throws rocks at you. It's, um, I don't know how easy it is uh, feasibly with zero, but with X, you can use two of the, use the first head to, like, stop yourself from getting sucked in, and then right as he stops, you can jump up to the one that's uh, farthest against the wall and just sit there and break all the debris <laughs> as it comes at you. You can't do any real damage to him there, but eh. But yeah, uh, the other health bar, I guess? Y you can kill it in <laughs> two um, cycles. Like yeah. that. The, the gun robot Sigma is pretty easy. Yeah. I tend to take damage just because I, I mean, I always end up going too slow to avoid some of the attacks. But generally, he's not, he's not the hard part. It's nope. the head. It's the head on the bottom. This pain. Yep. That's the true final boss of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For that electric attack, just double jump. That's all you gotta do. What side of hell did this phase come from? Ah, uh, that's a good the question. Co the cool side. <laughs> yeah, no, I would, uh, I'd, I'd personally still count Kaiser Sigma as easier than this. Hmm. I don't think this boss is hard. I don't even think Kaiser Sigma is particularly hard. I think it's just really annoying to get. I mean, it's just well, I, I, I guess I mean I'd rather play, I'd rather fight Kaiser Sigma than this. Oh. Hmm. Depends on my mood. <laughs> Ow. Jump too early. Oh. Hmm. Should I use a tank? Nah. I think I'll be good. Actually, yeah. I think I'm gonna kill him. Wow. That's actually the first time I did this boss without using a tank. I think I had to on my last run. I not really had to, but I decided to just to be safe. Because so, <laughs> whenever I whenever I attempt to take a risk a lot of the time in the X Games, it bites me in the ass. I love how that form came back just to say hee 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 -he, and then blow up. Alright. Turn you into space dust. I don't even know if he said it that time. I don't know. I mean, one of the best uh, is ready for round two. Okay, I do, I, yeah, I do like that delivery. It's just and the voice. <laughs> yeah. The delivery is fine, but the voice is just strange. Yes. And we'll never have to deal with the final weapon ever again. Oh, hi, X5. How are you? Yeah, we're just going to leave this here. Even though it's self-destructed. Yeah. Wait, if it's self-destructed, how is it still... I think it's I think it's different. It's a different thing in X5 because it, it has a totally different name. It's Eurasia in X5 rather than the final weapon here. Mm. Either way, X6 retcons the hell out of the thing. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. But uh, the funny thing about the story, I guess, for the X games, you can play them out of order, and it would make just as much sense if you played them in order. Pretty much. Especially if you start with X4, because like I said earlier, this is literally the only game where he doesn't die, story-wise. 
I, mean, I think it depends on the ending you get for X5, but the canon ending... That X5 well, he, di- he dies regardless. <laughs> he oh, dies know, regardless. <laughs> Why do you hate Zero so much, Capcom? <laughs> My man literally dies four times. He doesn't even get out of the Zero series alive. Oh my, I don't know. Watch X9, Zero dies at the start of the game. Fuck! <laughs> Zero's just dead in X9. It's like, for no reason. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Very good game. I love it. I, I say it's my second favorite. I put it kind of near the middle. I hated it a lot when I did my first playthrough, mostly because of how much the final Sigma soured me on it, but on a second playthrough, I like it more, but I'd mm. still rank it below the Super Nintendo ones, yes. personally. Right. Heckla, what do you think? Oh, I think X3 is the best game. Oh, you controversial <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, no, that's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't even know which <laughs> this is his favorite. Uh, so, remember that it's one... It's actually X7. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, remember that one day where you, me, and who else were we talking to about the EX games in general? It was... Let me go in general, because I know he was just typing earlier. It was Cameron Douglas. Okay, but yeah. I remember he and I... He, the three of us were talking about it, and then, like, I ordered food, I think it was the next day, and uh, the delivery guy happened to s- see my TV... Because I, I just have a small room. I don't really have an apartment yet. But he got to my room and he saw I was playing X1. He's like, oh, which one are you playing? It's like, X... Uh, I think I was playing X2 for that little bit. And he was just talking about how he likes it. And apparently X8 was his first Mega Man game. I think there were a couple of people that started with 8 just because of the the time it came out. Mm-hmm. So I was like, also, wow. that game is 14 years old. <laughs> it's like, wow, that says how talks about how young you are um <laughs> but, uh, i found that pretty neat x3 feels the best rounded package uh yeah uh fight some big robots <laughs> fight some big robots is actually just sort of the the aesthetic for the x and then zero series past x3 yeah not aesthetic but the the vibe much as I love the Zero series, there are a lot of very much. Here's a giant robot, fight it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, X one is X one is great, but I think the uh, the other two SNES games are better. Hmm. I agree. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> on. Yeah, I definitely Thank agree. You. And it, it, it probably has to do with my the order that I originally played them in, but um, X2 and X3 are definitely my least favorite in games. More so X3, but more when I get to those than like a month or two. Yeah. Yeah. X1 stream when? Um, Probably next weekend. Uh-huh. And so, monologue. I'm not reading this. <laughs> There's one of these at the end of every fucking game, and they're yeah. basically all the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why must replace fight? Oh. Seriously, where the hell are they fighting? Hmm. Oh. That was X4 stream. <laughs> you are extremely wrong about that uh, X3 soundtrack opinion. <laughs> I'm very glad that the the only thing I'm disappointed about with the X collection, including the SNES version of X3, is that we don't get Billzard Buffalo. Oh man! I will always refer to him as Billzard Buffalo. He's my favorite superhero. <laughs> um, I do like what they did with the. I said this in the last um, X live stream. I like the remixes for the, each of the X boss themes they have in this collection. They're really good. Yeah. Especially X three. I was very impressed because X three is literally a ten second loop. A lot of the X games. <laughs> a lot of the X games have like really short loops though. Yeah, I think X three is definitely the biggest offender. Da 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 da. That's it. Yeah. 
for me though, a lot of the time with with games, I'm listening to something else, so I don't I don't necessarily notice it right away. So I hear bits and pieces of it every minute or so. Yeah. Ah, uh, Yuki, you spelled Billzard Buffalo wrong. Come on now. Yeah. Get your shit right. You gotta get it. You gotta get his name right, man. Yeah. I'm telling. But um. Telling Mr. Yeah. Capcom. <laughs> Mr. Capcom. <laughs> Mr. Inafune. Oh wait. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for X4. That wasn't even two hours, huh? No. All the right. X Games, Mega Man in general, when you know what you're doing, they're short games. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's regular, good. like it's it's to the point where it is uh, not necessarily a, a big challenge to see the complete Mega Man 10 in under an hour thing, and mm. go like, oh, that's reasonable. I guess that's what the music sounds like. Sure. I I don't like a lot of the PlayStation remixes. Mm. You would think that with a better sound uh, sound engine, they'd be able to make better music, but eh. The the PlayStation like made X games have really good soundtracks, especially six. Oh yes. You would you say six has the best soundtrack? If not the best, it's up there. Hmm. At the very least, it's the best, I think, of the PlayStation games. Oh, no doubt. But, um, yeah. Um, I might play Code Cook 2 later. Depends like, if I can get some people together. I yeah, would join if I had been able to get the game yet. <laughs> Why didn't you get the game? I don't have any money. Oh my god. Lamb, are you there? <laughs> are, you, are you creeping? Oh, there he is. Yeah. If you want, land, we could play um, Overcooked 2 later. For the hell of it. Probably get like two other people from Omega's channel. You say Overcooked Smash 4 shoe? Wait. <laughs> Smash? Wait, Smash what? 4 you? I, t- I tried to read it as she typed it, and it, it made me get a headache, actually. Uh, what did she t- <laughs> I've never seen it written like that. <laughs> I've never seen it like that. <laughs> I've seen it like Smash 4 with the 4 replacing the A, but never with the U at the very end as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, if not, uh, so yeah, might be an Overcooked 2 stream later tonight. If not, uh, I'll probably do a Hyrule Warriors because I procrastinated long enough. <laughs> yeah, that sounds back, good. Back to a thousand years of grinding. <sighs> that game's design makes me sad. But yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all some other time. Have yourselves a good. Oh wow, it's only 3 o'clock. Afternoon, yeah. Yeah. Have, uh, or, depending on the rest of the world, morning. Who knows? Morning. Night. Electric Boogaloo. It doesn't matter. It's all the same way. <laughs>